Primary voters in 40 legislative districts picked candidates today for a major legislative election in November. The primary races are a prelude to November's election when all 201 legislative seats will be on the ballot and control of both chambers will be at stake. Now, perhaps the highest profile race today in Minnesota was the U.S. House District 8 Democratic primary. Rick Nolan, the endorsed candidate opposed by Terrell Clark and Jeff Anderson, right now with uh, with 137 of 812 precincts in, Rick Nolan has 42.67% of the tally, Terrell Clark with 35.44. U.S. Senate Democrats, no surprise here, Amy Klobuchar seeking her second term in 2006. She won in a landslide with 58% of the vote in the general election. She wins in an even bigger way tonight in the primary uh, with 91.4%. 15% right now with 43% of the precincts in. She has been declared the winner. U.S. Senate for Republican Kurt Bills, who was the, the, uh, the former state rep, he won the May convention nomination and he has been declared the winner tonight in the Republican Senate primary. And for the Independence Party, this is what we have right now with 43% of the vote in. Stephen Williams showing the way over Glenn Menzi. State House 2B. Steve Green versus David Collins. This is with 21.84% in, and Steve Green right now leads that. Winner of that will take on DFL former state rep Brita Saylor. In House 10B, David Schaff and Joe Radinovich, and right now Radinovich with a very early lead, just four of 91 precincts in. Senate 5, Tom Saxhog, uh, the current state senator, facing Laverne Peterson. And with 13 of 128 precincts in, Saxog is leading with 69% of the vote. And in Senate 10, Democrats, this is Ann Marcotte and Taylor Stevenson. Stevenson leads that with 12 of 118 precincts in and 10% of the vote in. Okay, 64% for Stevenson there. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.